Hello, boys and girls. I'm Gary. You'll know me best for being the main one from The Libertines. <laughs> You're probably sick to death of seeing pictures of me in the tabloids. <laughs> Do you want me to tell you the story of The Libertines? <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> I can't hear you. No, seriously. I've got tinnitus from all the drumming. My ears are properly fucked. Anyway, let's bring out the band. What? This is John, the other main one from the Libertines. <laughs> all right, Cap. Yeah. Jesus, John. Will you stop banging on and let me get a word in edgeways? <laughs> so... Honestly, I'm trying to talk here. Now, go and get Carl. Sure. <coughs> you were right there. <coughs> Just be a minute while the puppet is swaps puppets. Won't be a moment. Here he is. It's Carl. How are you? You all right? What did you want me for? Nothing yet. Just doing this puppet show about the band. A fucking puppet show? Oh, that's bullshit. I quit. Don't worry, boys and girls. Quitting is one of us Libertines' favourite hobbies. Luckily, our second favourite hobby is reforming. Anyway, the final member of the band is Peter. Peter? Peter? Oh, shit. He's off his tits on barbiturates. <laughs> I'll leave him there. Let's start the story, shall we? Once upon a time, in a magical place called Bethnal Green, Peter and Carl have moved into a cheap shared flat. Peter and Carl were two friends who shared the same hobbies. Oh, man. Which prick wet my trousers? Oh, yeah, it was me. <laughs> Fuck. I feel shit. What were you doing last night? Well, we started on the crack and then we stepped up to the hard stuff. Sausages? Yeah, I fucking love sausages. Proper addicted to them. The ones you got last night were good shit. Got them from a supplier in Germany, mate. I thought I saw you inject at least seven sausages. Seven sausages? That's nearly an armful. <laughs> this house is a lot smaller than I remember. What? This place? The Albion Rooms? Yeah. It is small. There's two reasons for that. One, London house prices. And two, we're puppets. <laughs> Makes sense. What happened to that girl you were with? Yeah, she fucked off. She saw me mainlining Bratwurst and she can't stand me now. May? That's a great song title. What? Mainline in breakfast. <laughs> no, you can't stand me now. We should write that song and form a band. Yeah, mate. And we can call the band Baby Shambles. Oh, that's a shit name. All right. What would you think of another one? Who that? Dunno. But we definitely didn't have iPhone ringtones like that in the late 90s. <laughs> Hello? Yes? Yes? Right. Bye, mate. So, who was it? Some geezer from Rough Trade Records. Apparently, there's loads of industry buzz about that song we were just thinking about writing, and they want to give us a billion pound record deal. Ooh, think how many sausages you could buy for that. Great, this is perfect. We're going to be in a band with Gary and John, and, and we'll always be friends, and never ever argue or split up or steal each other's things. <laughs> Woohoo, let's celebrate. You got any of the good stuff? Fuck yeah. Boys and girls, things have moved on a lot since we were last together. The year is now 2003. The Libertines are riding high and officially have the coolest fucking drummer in the history of rock and fucking roll. And somehow, Carlos parlayed our modest success into this cushy flat in London's swanky Mayfair. 
but something is bothering him. Something's bothering me, Gary. I can tell by your grumpy face. You've had an expression like John Hassel for days now. Come on, Carl. Tell the boys and girls what's getting you down. It's Pete. He's gone off the rails. Was he ever on him? He's all over the tabloids. Oh, publicity is good publicity, right? And he's even talking about launching a jewellery range. Now that's fucking true, kids. Look, here he comes now. Hello, Pete. Fuck off, Carl. Where have you been? Oh, nowhere really. Just partying in New York with my new girlfriend, Kate Moss. You probably saw the pictures in the papers. <laughs> Getting back through customs wasn't much fun. They gave me a full cavity search. Oh, imagine having a hand up your jacksie. I don't have to imagine it. Some twat's got his hand up there right now. <laughs> well, the important thing is you're here now and you're just in time because we're about to leave for our tour of Japan. Well, I'm a little bit busy. Busy? Busy with what? Uh, you know, this and that. Bits and pieces. Wait, Pete, are you addicted to sausages? Yeah, I've got a whole load of sausages to get through. Some real high-grade Colombian pork. <laughs> so I ain't coming with you on a tour. Unbelievable. Well, I'm not telling the other lads that you're not coming at all. You can do it yourself. They'll be shocked and stunned. Uh, Gary, I need to tell you something. I'm pulling out of our Japanese tour, jeopardising the whole Oriental enterprise, and I'm essentially expunging myself from the very band I beget. I'm shocked! <clears throat> uh, John... I'm extracting myself from the forthcoming expedition to the east, and by doing so, I'm imperiling the very existence of the creation I spawned. How do you feel about that? Stunned. <laughs> can't believe you're doing this, Pete. I'll tell you something. I can't stand you now. You can't stand me now? I can't stand you now. You can't stand me now? I can't stand him now. You can't stand me now? I can't stand you now. Enough. We're not the Chuckle Brothers. Well, rest in peace, Barry. Anyway, we're leaving now to conquer Japan. And while we're away, I'm locking up my nice posh flat with all my nice stuff in, so don't do anything stupid. Well, I'm hardly going to break in on a Saturday at seven in the morning and burgle it, if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> I wasn't thinking that, but good, because I wouldn't want you to break in and burgle it. I won't break in and burgle it. Sorry, but the way you're saying that makes me think you are going to break in and burgle it. Oh, come on, Carl. When have I ever broken a promise, let you guys down, or done something stupid and illegal? Don't answer that. There isn't time. Your flight's about to leave. Have a good tour. Bye! Ha-ha! I've broken in, and now I'm going to burgle the place. Now, if you lot see any Rosas around, be sure to let me know by shouting, Rosas! Yeah? Okay, nice. Mmm, some high-grade Colombian sausages. I'll have them. Rosas! Uh, don't take the piss. There ain't any Rosas there, kids. Now, where does he keep his mouth organ? Rosas! There's no one there. Have you been on the mushrooms or something? Uh, there must be an antique guitar around here somewhere. Oi! You baby-faced thief. You'll go to prison for a very long time, or you'll be out in two months with good behaviour. One of the two. Back, boys and girls, the year is now 2020. That shouldn't be news to you, it's been 2020 for a while. And the good news is, the Libertines are back together. Yes, we got back on the horse. <laughs> the exciting news is that we're all working together on a totally special project. Tell them what it is, John. Hotel. That's right, Cap. We're living the rock and roll dream of a career in tourism and hospitality. The path goes, record deal, hit albums, sell out tours, all building up to running a B&B. <laughs> Just think, if the Beatles had never split up, right now they could be running a medium-sized travel lodge. <laughs> Ten years ago, we were throwing TVs out of hotel windows. Nowadays, we're installing them. <laughs> it's Carl! Hey! Puppeteer has only got two hands. 
If Carl's ever gonna get here, you'll have to fuck off, John. Sure. Gary, I've got some great news. All right, Carl. Did we get a five-star review in the NME? Way better. We got a five-star review on TripAdvisor. They said our breakfast were the best value breakfast they've ever had. Well, that's all thanks to our culinary genius in-house hotel chef, Peter. Hooray! Fucking hell, Pete. Look at the state of that heart attack on a plate. Four eggs, four sausages, bacon, two burgers, chips, beans, hash browns, mushrooms, black pudding. We want our guests to check out, but not in that way. I call this the Pete Doherty all-day breakfast. Why? Because it takes all day to eat it? Not for me, mate. I've had two this morning already, and I'm still feeling peckish. For fuck's sake, Pete. If we serve that much food to every guest, the Albion Rooms recording studio, bar and guest house will go bust in no time. And you know what that means? It'll be back to the boring humdrum day job for us all, recording platinum selling albums, international tours, headlining Glastonbury. Fuck that shit. Don't worry about making money, Carl. I have a cunning plan. It's bound up with one of your mental ideas, like when you sang the wrong verse of the German national anthem, or when you tried to smuggle your special sausages into Italy. <laughs> Nothing like that. My clever idea is we do some quarantine entertainment for the fans. I'm game. Shall we see what John and Gary think about my idea? Yeah, let's ask them. John, are you up for doing some quarantine entertainment for the fans? Oh, shit, sorry. I said, John, are you up for doing some quarantine entertainment for the fans? Sure. Great. Pete will be thrilled. John's up for doing some quarantine entertainment. I'm thrilled. I told him you would be. And what does Gary think of my idea? Well, he wasn't here, was he? Because, never mind, I'll ask him. Gary! 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gary, are you up for doing some quarantine entertainment for the fans? Good plan, Mon Capitano. Great. Pete will be ecstatic. Gary's up for doing some quarantine entertainment. <clears throat> I'm ecstatic. I told him you would be. Should we tell the police officer? I uh, don't see the need. Yeah, I think everyone's bored of this joke. Listen, I've got one more idea, and this could be my best idea yet. How about we put on a sort of Punch and Judy show? But instead of Punch and Judy, it's about us four libertines, and there's even some jokes in it about touchy subjects, like when I stole stuff from your flat and went to prison. I agree. And we'll pay the puppeteer 50 quid. Great idea. But to keep the magic alive, we must never see the puppeteer's face. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the story of the libertines. Fuck off, you bum feeder. How about my arse? Oh. Yeah.